Hi, it's Laurie Minson here from Tamworth in Australia. I've got a brand new multi-effects pedal here with seven effects and we'll uh, give you a closer look uh, at what's going on here. It's the uh, latest cab off the rank for 2021. So uh, let's have a bit of a look. Okay, so this is the uh, layout of the M7. There's a um, tap tempo button for the delay down on the bottom right. Put it down here so it's easy to get to. And then uh, we've got three drive stages. The first one's called a bush pig. Uh, it's got gain, tone, and volume. Very interactive, those three. And it's very heavy saturated drive. So uh, a lot of options moving these three around. We'll get Anthony to demonstrate that shortly. Uh, then there's a uh, little sort of two FET sort of drive, a bit like a preamp drive. It's just got gain and volume. This is if you want to just get the tiniest, tiniest little bit of crunch, you know, like an amp is just starting to break up, and then you can control the uh, level with the volume there. That's got a dingo. Uh, and then we've got a King Brown, which is supposed to be like a, the output stage of a tube amp going into saturation, so it's a bigger, chunkier kind of saturation. Not quite as full-on as the Bush Pig, um, but it, they kind of all work really well together. Um, and then uh, this is called a wallaby, um, which is a tremolo. The balance and the output level are trim pots, actually. I'll show you those in a sec. Uh, and then you've just got a control for the modulation speed of the tremolo there. That's a wallaby. Uh, and then we've got uh, gecko, which is an Australian lizard. All these are Australian animals. Gecko just sounds a bit like echo. And I was saying you've got the tap tempo down here and then you've got a uh, time control here which overrides the tap tempo and the tap tempo overrides it. So they're both very interactive. That sets the delay time. There's a mix between the uh, dry signal and the delay signal. And then feedback is just your amount of repeats of your delay. Uh, and then over here, this is called a bunyip, which is a mythical Australian animal. Um, and that's a reverb. So this is just controls the blend of the reverb and then it's a push-pull uh, pot so if you want to true bypass and you can take it completely out of circuit by lifting it up. I generally just leave it on all the time, have it sitting there somewhere. Uh, and then at the back end I've got a goanna uh, which is another Australian lizard. It looks like a lizard but it's bigger. Um, that's the idea behind this. It's a boost. So actually a boost cut, so you've got uh, unity gain uh, at around about 12 o'clock, boost that way and cut that way, and on and off. Uh, so that's the top. So this is uh, the inside, it's all hand wired, I make it all myself. There's a little bit of a mud map down here. I used to have quite a lot of trim pots going on inside, um, just so you could sort of simplify the uh, top deck. I've actually added a lot more controls on the outside now, so really the only trim pots that are left inside now is the output for the uh, King Brown, which is that little trim pot there. And then uh, that's the uh, blend for the tremolo, and that's the output volume for the tremolo. And they're marked uh, on a little map down there, but uh, otherwise all the controls are on the outside. How are you going? My name's Anthony Wamsley. I'm a guitar player and... Uh Lucky to be uh, playing through Laurie Minson's latest creation today. Um, I'll be playing through this Telecaster I've had forever since Jesus played fullback for Jerusalem. <laughs> and um, I'll be just playing for the moment just on the back pickups of Seymour Duncan and the front one's a Texas Special. Okay, so we've got a deluxe reverb amp that we're going through here. And, and then it's mic'd up in a box in there somewhere with a... Greenback or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, feeding out to a greenback that's got a Celestian and a, uh, a ribbon and a 57 on it. Wow, okay. Well, that's the guitar rig. Here we go. Yeah, so that, we'll go through these switches and see what we um, demonstrate some of the features of the unit. <laughs> So what's that one? 
Which that's one are you? That's the dingo. That's the dingo. Right out. Bush pigs obviously got a bit more grunt to it. Cool, fantastic. Okay, so uh, what do you got uh, happening here, buddy? Uh, I've got the the gecko and the king brown. Right. Okay. And that's uh, that that's one's the dingo that, and the that, gecko. The dingo and the gecko. Yep. You got a reverb on there too, eh? Yep, I've got the reverb happening at the at the moment. Full on, it's up here. Yeah. Plenty of it. Mhm. Mm there might be a touch of the reverb on that thing, but oh, you yeah. can hear the. It's got a great little um, decay to it, and then the, the wallaby here. I've always loved these wallabies. That's with the neck pickup with the bridge. Want to get a bit of your hammond on? Yeah. 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 Okay, and now you've still got a boost. Yep. Go there. <clears throat> so here's Dingo and King Brown. Yep. Dingo. Yeah. Okay, now uh, what everyone is going to want to hear is what all three drives sound like yep. going at the same time.
and a bit of delay probably would help. And that tap tempo down on the tap tempo down there. So I was wondering if you want to just have a bit of a one by one go through the effects from the front. So the first one's a bush pig, which has got a gain and tone and volume. So I just want to see what sort of options you've got, what you can pull out of uh, out of it. You'll notice the tone changes as you. As you wind the gain up, it gets more mids. So you lose treble as you wind the gain up. And this one's a dingo, which has just got a drive and a volume. Yep, so he's with that. You can really hear the guitar through the unit. Yeah. <laughs> and if you, if you bring the gain back a bit and bring the volume up, you'll just get that slight, slight little crack. Great sort of crunchy rhythm vibe. Yep. Yep. And then uh, we've got a King Brown, which is a, sort of a bigger. Yep. If you crank the gain up to about one o'clock, you'll be, yeah, that'll be getting pretty close to it. That'd be good on the slide or something. Great for slide, yeah. And then you can push it with the others, you know, so hit it with the... And you want it big, big and chunky. Yep. And you can push it with the dingo as well. I'll try it with the push pick off. Yep. Yeah. So that's the three drives. Um, then we got tremolo with a uh, speed control on the, the yellow knobs. Your speed. Mm-hmm. 
there. And they're all true bypass, so whenever you switch anything off, it's straight through with your guitar tone. Um, and then you've got a gecko, which is your delay. Uh, now the um, reverb's up the top left, the blue one, if you push that down, um, that's in bypass, that turns it on and then you just got a blend, blend knob there for that one. And then you've got a boost down the bottom here. Yeah, you can back it. Yeah, I've, I've done reading gigs with one of your older ones and be able to come in fairly saturated at a low volume. Exactly, yeah, you yeah. Can, you can turn it right back. Yeah, yeah, it becomes an attenuator, yeah. So your rhythm, if you need to saturate it or something. Yeah. Solo. Yeah. Yeah. And so then come back to your rhythm. And then cut him back. Counterintuitive, but yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a really great feature. And now we uh, all love a bit of slide guitar, and the old M7 uh, is pretty handy for that sort of style. So uh, let rip, mate. A bit of slide. So Bush pig, Got some bush, bush pig and dingo and a bit, bit of, of gecko, uh, bit of gecko and a bit of bunion and some bunion. <laughs>